Reports are a core feature found in both Tempo Timesheets and Tempo Planner. They provide you with valuable insights into how time has been spent or how time is planned. And this helps you make smarter decisions for the future. You can generate a report from the time logged to JIRA projects, the billable hours logged to an account, the hours logged to an individual, and much more. In this video, I'll show you how to create a report for a team to see how they have spent their time this month. To start off, I select Reports from the sidebar and see that I can create a report on log time. Because I also have Tempo Planner installed, I could create a report on plan time, but that's covered in another video. So I click on Log Time, and I can set up what I want to see in my report in this dialog. Here I can choose a filter to show only what I need, and there are quite a few filters to choose from. I'm going to select Teams, and then choose my two teams from the list. Now I can decide how I want to group that filtered data. I want to see the JIRA projects and issues on which my team has spent their time, as well as the epics. Notice that the JIRA hierarchy is automatically used, so my data will appear like this in the report. When I'm ready, I click Create, and I see my report. You can edit this report at any time by adding or removing filters here, or by removing or adding any of the Group By options. Now I need to define the time period for the data that I want to see. And there are two different ways I can do this here. To use a fixed period, I pick the from and to dates to set the time range. For example, I could create a report that shows the data for these two weeks in August. When I save the report and open it again, the same dates will be used. Or to use a dynamic period, I can select one of these options here, which shows data that is always relative to the current date. I'll choose current month so that I see all the data for this month, and click apply. Now I can show more information about my data from this menu that says Grid View. First off, I'll change the display from days to weeks, just to make things clearer. By default, logged hours are displayed, but I want to see the percentage of required hours that are already logged, and the required hours themselves. The list view shows the data without the dates in a grid, and it gives a few more options to display here. But I'll return to the grid view. I can set my report preferences from this menu with the gear icon. For example, I'm sending this report to one of the European offices where the date format is day, month, year. And the time format is the 24 hour clock. The nice thing is that Tempo remembers all the view settings and preferences that I used in this session, so the next time I create a report, everything will be set up the way that I like. I also want to sort the data to show the most number of logged hours at the top. So I just click in that column to toggle between the highest and lowest values. And this is sorted per team member. I could also sort the data alphabetically by the team members' names. When I'm all finished setting up my report, I can save it up here. I get a reminder that this is a dynamic period report, which means that the time and data will be updated every time I run this report. Dynamic reports are useful for creating templates, and I'll do that here by calling this my Team Monthly Report. All saved reports are available on the main reports page. So the next time I want to run my report, I just click it, and all my data is there. One more thing that I can do with my report is to export the data for further analysis. I click Export and select a spreadsheet format for bringing it into Excel, QuickBooks, or another business application. And it creates that file. So that's how to create a report to get useful insights into where time has been spent, no matter what you're looking for.